Hey guys, I uh, took a ride over here on the bike to the community garden. Got a bug in my eye, but uh, I found out nobody used this spot that I've had for, uh, I can't remember if it was two or three years now. So I figured I'd go through it and um, see if anything's still growing from last year. Well, right here at the edge of the garden is a little sunflower. That's probably from seeds from one of the sunflowers I planted last year. And I see right here, this is where I had my musk melon um, growing. And I don't know, but I almost think this is a, a small musk melon that may have volunteered. I mean, it's certainly a, a cultivated cucurbit or melon plant and also right here which I had actually planted it over here a couple rows over but I see the plow must have moved it right here is some or no wait a minute no this isn't I thought this was hyssop all right this is something I planted last year this is borage or borage it's a good companion plant and it self seeds and uh, volunteers the next year quite readily. There's two of them here. Let's see what else we can find. It's pretty grown up. Here we go. Here's that hyssop I grew. It's kind of hard to distinguish from the ragweed and stuff. It's kind of the same color. That's hyssop, another good companion plant for the garden. It's growing wild now. More of the volunteer tomatillos that come up in this garden every year for the past five or six years now. And of course that little quickweed plant that's edible, that's just a weed. More sunflowers. And here's some radishes from last year, icicle radishes. I don't know if you can see that little white icicle radish right there. And just like the seeds I saved and planted in my garden this year, they kind of crossbred and created this sort of uh, turnip-like radish. The radishes sell so quite readily they're all over in here, but here's a really nice fat one, icicle radish. When I first started this garden, there was a bunch of daylilies that had been discarded over here by the city. And I took and I planted one long row at the edge of my garden. And after being plowed up two or three times, they're, they're still growing. In fact, there's some right here. It's actually a pretty good wild edible, kind of like eating a little green bean, these unopened uh, flower buds. There's another volunteer radish that's uh, flowering out. And of course, like I said, they're all throughout here, radishes everywhere. Now what's funny with this is, this is uh, some type of a burr plant. I can't think of the name of it offhand. But for some reason, I had one growing last year, and uh, just without really looking at it, I thought it was uh, Datura jimson weed or moonflower. But uh, it wasn't. It was just some kind of burr plant. And that one plant got really huge, and now this whole end of the garden is nothing but that stuff. I didn't plant these myself. But this is either morning glory or sweet potato. I saw it in here last year. It grew up my sunflowers. And if I remember, it got light pink flowers. I let that quick weed grow, and it's growing all over in this garden now. So that's one weed that will compete with the noxious weeds. But this one's actually edible. So 
That's pretty cool, I think. Well, guys, I uh, had to uh, leave the community garden because a bunch of people came and it was kind of noisy. But uh, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to take a tour through that uh, community garden where I had my garden for the last two years. And I'm getting ate up by mosquitoes. But uh, see if any uh, anything had volunteered and see if any of those herbs came back. And sure enough, they had. I uh, thought it'd be kind of neat to show. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments and support.